Yes, everyone, it's grey and miserable outside. And it reflects that of Newcastle's injury crisis, with the news today that Nick Pope could be out for up to five months with a shoulder injury. Absolutely gutting. Welcome back everyone to Newcastle Fans TV. Thanks for tuning in once again. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe and check out our membership options too. But the news this morning is bleak. However, the mood around Newcastle United is not bleak. The job Eddie Howe and this squad is doing to keep grinding these wins and fantastic results despite everything, despite all these injuries, is absolutely unbelievable another big week ahead two tricky away games at Everton and Spurs to come but Nick Pope won't be playing and he won't be playing for a good while um, you could tell he was in a lot of pain when he went down when Cher made that fantastic clearance uh, Saturday night against Manchester United um, it's a bad one big big uh, dislocation and uh, and an injury that's going to keep him out for four or five months the news coming out this morning is that we're now reportedly considering making a short-term move for David De Gea. David De Gea, as you know, has been without a club since being released from Manchester United in the summer. He was linked with Real Madrid, but they chose to loan Kepa from Chelsea instead. He's been linked to various clubs, but none have been willing to take him. And if I was Newcastle United, I have to be honest, I wouldn't be taking him either. Um, this is a guy who held Man United to ransom over new contracts for so many years, tried to play them against Real Madrid to force a move there or to get more money. He was up to £300,000 a week at one point. Is that the type of player? Is that the type of character that we want at Newcastle United? Even if it is just for the short term. And if it is for the short term, why would he care? about new, the project and what Newcastle United are building. Why would he care about an upcoming weird time derby in the FA Cup, which is massive? Why would he care whether we're in the Champions League, Europa League, or not in Europe at all for the second half of the season? For me, I think stick with Dubravka. Given all the injuries we've got, this is the one that's kind of given me the least amount of stress that might be misguided um look i've been wrong about this before when when pope was signed i was the one that was trying to be a clever dick and questioning is he really that much better than dubravka i mean look i think we can all agree dubravka's distribution is a lot better than nick pope's but as a pure and out and out shot stopper whilst dubravka isn't bad nick pope is is fantastic look at the past week Save in Paris just defies the laws of physics. How that stayed out, that one in the second half, is, is beyond me. It was a remarkable stop. Um, unbelievable. But look, Eddie Howe said in the summer that he wanted Dubravka to stay, got rid of Darlow instead. Kept Carrius around, Kept even kept Gillespie around. Um, I don't think that a move for De Gea would be on the cards realistically and I think wages would be a sticking point I think the type of character De Gea is I mean Alan Shearer at the weekend said there's a lot of bad eggs in that dressing room Man United got rid of him so he must be a really bad egg for, for them not to keep him around um, who knows you may disagree with me and say look De Gea is a fantastic shot stopper the same as Nick Pope distribution again has, has sometimes come into Sometimes come into question with De Gea, same as Pope, really. Um, but there's no doubt he's a tremendous shot stopper. Of course he is. Um, he's just not for me. There might be some out there. Please feel free. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see De Gea in a Newcastle shirt for the rest of this season? At least Pope's going to be out until near the end of the season. Five months it could be up to. All right, he could be back by March, but five months end of April and then in which case you've got one or two games left of the season does he come straight back in if Dubravka's done well or if Karius has done well if uh, the injuries continue who knows um, but he's not he's, he's not for me and I, and I think um, January plans will be will be spent elsewhere 
Um, yeah, it, it, just let me know in the comments what what you think. For me, Dubravka did well in the cup at Old Trafford. Let's not forget. Yes, there are still some sections of the fan base that are annoyed with him about going to Man United on loan. I have to be honest, I'm sort of over that, and I was over it pretty quickly. Um, he wasn't going to get a game at Newcastle at that time there, where he went when he went to Manchester United on loan. Um, but now is it's his chance. And let's not have short-term memories. He's been a fantastic player for Newcastle United under under Steve Bruce, under Rafa, and has always done a job when called upon uh, under Eddie Howe, which has been few and far between, of course. But this is his chance now. This is his chance. He'll want to play games with the Euros on the horizon. Of course, they've qualified. Um, so, for me, give Dubravka a go. Let me know what you guys think. Get in the comments, smash that like button and stay tuned to Newcastle Fans TV.